What's up, ninjas? What is it? What is it? Whack a granny Wednesday. That's what day it is today. And look where we are. Surprise, surprise. We are at the Hamburger Hill in McDouble. It's not tall or crazy, nothing like what we remember it being this last summer. But it is spotty and it could definitely use a cut. Also notice there's a bunch of flags all over, which means we got, and there's a dog, so there's an invisible fence. Yeah. Says he's getting started. He's taking it in the rear. I mean, taking care of the backyard. I'm gonna start in the front. Try to show you a little footage if I can. It is the first cut, so I'll just, I don't think I'm gonna set up and actually record for you, like, cause there's, it's just, we're gonna fly through it. But uh, once I get to the back, I'll, I'll be able to show you the scenery and at least give you a little reminder. Yeah, what to look for or what to expect. So a lot of you who are new to the channel, we call this Hamburger Hill right here. And this is the McDouble because the front of course is a joke, but the back is where the action is. Always harder in the rear as Sassy would say. It's literally a straight drop down to the lake. And so you gotta be real careful. When I first got this yard, I was very, very nervous, used walk behinds only. And then I was like, let me try these rights. Well, I'm still here. This is about as far as comfortably that I, uh, I can get, I mean, any further it's like a straight drop and i know it's probably hard to tell on camera hey hey oh hey and as far as up there you can see where i stop with the leaf line i mean it's a straight drop to this so i don't go any further sassy's just finishing up here i see you got your jacket off and old hamburger hill already Doing a little exercise on you. But it does make it go from 36 to 69. <laughs> what the heck? <laughs> Not bad for the first cut, isn't it? Yeah. Hamburger Hill. One of many. It's gonna get your heart pumping. <laughs> Sass? Yes, sir. <laughs> a little huffing and puffing? Yes, I did. Yeah, going up that hill. Oh, yeah. Yeah, what was that? That's my zoom. You got me locked up. On the weed eaters? They were unlocked. You're locking them, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Really? Yes, sir. That is something. I think the locks are just, like I said, new and... Sensitive. How does that go again? Sensitive. So that goes back to what you say all the time about a professional look, professional people. People are just comfortable walking up to you and saying, hey, can I get a business And going? you know what she just said? Mm -hmm. She said, I notice you here on a consistent basis, but I also noticed how always nice your truck and your equipment is mm -hmm. and she goes that stood out to me and i i just i would love for you to give me a quote well we've been and and, quote. and she didn't say just mowing she said mowing aerating gutters mulch leaves shrubbery just everything see neighborhood nick roll up mow out the whole neighborhood this is what's going to make you stand out from those guys who are weekend warriors just doing it on the side. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with someone just being a hustler and trying to make some money on the side. But also, we as an industry cannot be viewed like that by everybody that we're just doing this on the side. And that we're just the weekend warriors and we're just trying to make a few bucks because we may be here tomorrow and we may not be here tomorrow, the following day. There's gotta be that difference. Nothing wrong with neither. There's gotta be that difference. This is a professional company, professional uh, uniforms, presentation, and then you can tell when someone's just doing it on the side. Nothing wrong. But I think if we don't present ourselves professionally, we are planting that seed in the people around us who see us. Now she's been, obviously she's been watching me all of summer last summer and 
you know the few times I've been already been here this year and it finally that seed finally grew whatever the seed was that I planted in her head it just goes to show presentation is key conduct yourself professionally present yourself professionally be a hard worker and always try to do the best job that you can with whatever it is that you have don't have to have the craziest mowers you don't have to have the craziest best weed eaters the trailers the trucks but do work with what you have and work your way up but always try to present yourself with whatever it is that you have the best that you can does that make sense because it'll help you it'll help you grow your business this is the kind of stuff that's been happening to me here and there throughout the last several years and one of the reasons why I talk to you guys and I've mentioned it in prior videos because I see that it stands out and I see that it makes a difference so why wouldn't I share that with you guys so you guys can benefit from a small little adjustment to yourself and that's conducting yourself professionally in all aspects <music> Well, as you guys saw, ended up picking up this one as well. The neighbor to the one we were mowing. And now we're headed over there to that one and uh, that walked up to us, Sass. So that's the front of the house right there. Gotta check the rear though. Gotta check the rear. No, it's harder in the rear. Harder always in the rear. Mm-hmm. If she even has. I'll bet that's how you get to the rear. Look at that tight spot. That's a tight spot, man. Yeah, that, that looks like a 52 or a 36. Mm-hmm. Hmm. You'll fit right back there. <laughs> You'll fit right back there. <laughs> oh, I always do. Look at him. He's got his hat on. He's ready. That's right. I'll jump out here and we eat the poop out of this yard. They don't even know me. <laughs> this is the backyard. All the shrubs trimmed in the front. And... Um, possibly aerating as well so there's just quite a bit she ran in there to get a pen but looks like a pretty good account I'll walk to the other side over here oh and gutters as well but yeah all that once we clean this out push all the leaves to the wood line then all this gets pine strawed this would be the only entrance to the back but a 52 can comfortably fit in here no problem. This would be, I think, Pine Strad as well. You get approached on Granny Wednesday by a granny, you're gonna get there. Granny Wednesday got its nickname because it seems like always on Wednesdays we get in contact with grannies. And I, well, I do love it when they talk to you. Why? The clock just clicks away. Yeah, you see that? Clock sh sucking. Yeah, clock corners. sucking. Maybe I ought to adjust that clock at the end of the day. I don't think that's a thing. You see what I mean? That's not a thing. But yet, it becomes a thing when people are like, "Well, he's out here, when am I can weed it and you just can't hear, but yeah, shut your mouth. Lots of pine straw. Probably looking about 100 bales. Oh, to put down? Mm -hmm. Well, that's fine. Yeah, probably about 100 bales. She did say, well, how much would you charge me for the gutter to, and I said, look, for one gutter in the back. And I said, if, if I'm on your roof, I'm gonna look at all your gutters. I'm not gonna just look at one gutter. That's crazy because another one over on the other side could have some leaves in there, stuff that you're not aware of. So while I'm already up there, why wouldn't you? And so I gave her a price and she said, oh. She's like, well, the other guy just included it. And I'm like, well, I'm not the other guy. I'm not gonna, well, why, why would you charge a certain amount? It wasn't a crazy amount, but why would you charge a certain amount just to get on the roof and walk? I'm like, because there's a risk factor in here. I'm on your roof. I said, now I gotta bring the ladders. So she was she was like, ha ha ha, yeah, you're right, you're right. And I felt like that was more of a test. I held my guard on that and I told her, no, there's an extra charge. If I'm going up on your roof, there's a safety hazard, a risk, right? I mean, the fact that I have to bring a ladder and go up the ladder and yeah, there's gonna be an additional charge. She just thought I was gonna include that and do it for free. Whether it's true that the other guy did it or not, Sassy, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe he did. Maybe she's just throwing it out there to see what I would say. Regardless, what you tell them, you hold your guard and know your value and your worth and your time. 
And if you have an employee such as Sassafras over here, mm -hmm. know what your employee's worth and how long it's gonna take you and how long he's gonna clock suck. I don't know who that good looking fat guy is, that leaf bore on, but he handsome. So let me just come on up to your truck and just we talk a minute. I know, I know, I'm good looking. Mm -mm -mm. She said, I'm so sorry it took uh, longer of your time. Tell that gentleman that's waiting for you in the truck, thank you. And I'm thinking to myself. Oh yes, thank you. Ka-ching, ka-ching. But I won't be here long. I just basically what the customer wants is all this stuff that's coming over the fence cut back and pushed back completely the good thing is he said i can go ahead and leave all the stuff that we cut back here on the other side of the fence he's also concerned about this corner he wants a lot of this corner really pushed back because he said if you're trying to turn right out of this driveway you can't even see so a lot of this too cut back and pushed back oh got a name for saturday oh saving saturday oh i like it saving saturday mm -hmm. little company name combined with the saturday mm -hmm. i like it nature minute with sassy you know, I'm glad you brought okay that. the fruit fly tragically every now and then gets rejected sexually when they do they tend to seek out fermented fruit which means every time a fruit fly gets turned down for sex he goes out drinking <laughs> so why did they get turned down oh various reasons i'm sure i don't know probably just rude a lot of people just rude. <laughs> but when they get turned down they do go out and seek alcohol which is fermented fruit so they can drown their sorrows really mm -hmm. and so when they get turned down for sex they just go get drunk yes i wonder who else has that similar behavior mm. i don't know bars is awful busy though <laughs> i did not and this is fruit flies fruit flies I did not know that. Yeah, Fruit tragic. flies. Yeah, then you get some AAF. AAF. It's alcoholic synonymous for flies. <laughs> <laughs> what is the fruit that they drink on? Oh, it depends. Just whatever's fermented, laying down there for the longest. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the older, the better. That's right. That works in a lot of ways. <laughs> we do have a need to know with Nick. Oh, I love these. You love these? Mm -hmm. Did you know that your 360 games are convertible to Xbox One? Now, not, not necessarily every single game, but like, what, 80% of it? Yeah, almost all of them. How many of y'all really knew that? I bet a lot of you didn't know that. Why would they not advertise that more? Or why do you think they were hiding that? Why would you buy a $50 game if you've already got a copy of it? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. So your 360 games can be played on Xbox One. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed, Ninjas. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. Peace. Bye. <laughs>